has just copped a massive like. Now she's gone and got a boob job done, right? Of course she did. She's got the Botox lips. <laughs> me, look at her. She looks like the rear end of a Pomeranian. <laughs> That's just had, like, curry. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, you darling. Yeah. You look like something they've dragged out of the marinara trench. Can, can we play the audio first before no, you just, hate and judge? I just want to hate on her a bit more. All right, okay. Anyway, this That's is her. This is her. Shut the f*** up. Having a bit of a cry on social media oh. over there. Change to remove likes. I'm just trying to stay calm. <laughs> so I can get these words out properly because they're not coming out. I just think I'm gonna have a really big, big. I just think I'm gonna have a really big break from social media for a oh, while because pedal. it's really just <laughs> pedal. Now she's get your ass in the corner and hock your fork. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Honestly, you're a parasite. You contribute nothing to society. This is what is wrong with the world right now. It's full of Michaela Tester. 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 What the. F- Honestly, can't keep going. Keep going. All right. Let me. I know mentally Instagram for me is a problem. Now, hang on. wait, 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 wait. We need to back up here a second. No, okay. we don't. No, 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 we do. I just want to point out for a second here that we are not sexist against this woman at all. We're not laughing at her plight or anything like that. Well, we, I am. We we sort of are in a way. However, though. She's now then introduced the fact that Instagram is a problem. Like an alcoholic would admit that they've got a problem with alcohol or a drug user or something like that, okay? So this is lowest point for Michaela Tester, okay? Right. Don't give me that look where you just like look at me so like, she's, what the f*** are you she's, saying? She's come out in a, in a desperate plea for help because she can't help but get on Instagram every day and then turn up to somewhere and go... Well, I've got 500,000 likes on Instagram, so I want everything for free. Yeah. And and she reckons she's got a mental problem, yet she stopped to get her f-ing nails done. She's got her f-ing eyebrows waxed. She's got enough lipstick on there to cover the f-ing Sahara Desert because her lips look like f-ing two tree trunks. How much did the Botox in them f-ing things cost? And she looks like Cher took a dump on Cher and then had that dump and then dumped on it again and then put some makeup on it. Made a shit mould. A shit mould of Cher. And I'm like, I can't even, like, accept that. So I'm just going to leave for, you know, maybe a couple of weeks so I can get back on track because right now I am just scaring myself. I don't... Obviously she's looked in the, the mirror, mirror. Yep. know what's going on inside my head. Nothing, and darling, just, nothing. wanted you guys to know that... The things you say to me really do affect me. See, now, as, now you're a... <laughs> See this? This this is the face of an influencer who doesn't give a... F- like, I don't give a rat. This is not a job. This is not... It's, it might be a lifestyle. No, they it, treat it as a job. And it's not a f- job. I know it's not a job. We'll continue. Hang on. And I read them. I do read them. I read every comment. I read every DM and... And that's where she ends. Okay. Good. Now, she's up. I feel dumber for just watching that. No, no, no. I want to get to the point. This is the point I'm trying to make, okay? Mm. So then on Facebook, some have mocked her, telling her to go and get a real job. I'm about to get on Facebook and mock her myself. Uh, One said, girl, as in G-U-U-U-R-L. She needs to get back in touch with reality. Others simply suggested she go and get a job. Hang on, hang on. Go back up. Just just take the supercomputer back up. The Melbourne Instagram user who has less than 50,000 followers. Like, PewDiePie takes a crap. Takes a photo of it, puts it on Instagram. It gets more followers than her. Is that the same one that was selling the bathwater? No, that's, um, oh, I can't even remember what her name was. Dummy f- dick shit. Dick shit. Oh, apparently, dude's got herpes from her bathwater. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't her bathwater. She probably just got that dude with the longest dreads to come and sit in the bath for a bit and, you know, flavour it up. The Melbourne Instagram user who has less than 50,000 followers on her two accounts. So that's added up. This woman isn't even a drop in the Instagram ocean, if no. you really want to think about it. No. Took herself off the site. Now, she was going to go and travel, and she just, I, I just, I, I didn't know what to do and what was going on inside my head, and I'm just going to take a break. She took a break for all of one f-ing day. <laughs> in protest, mind you. In f- 
protest after the platform announced to be moving likes in a bid to improve mental health. Well, did it improve it? Because it looks like it's totally ratted. It improved my mental health. This is The Burble with Benny and Az. Speaking of rabies, before we go, Az... <laughs> <laughs> 15 teens have been treated for rabies after they gang raped a donkey. Yeah. Told you I'd leave the good stuff to oh, the end. Oh, dude, what happened in the 50 acre wood? You all used to be such a nice <laughs> bloke. Christopher Robin and Ice Spray. <laughs> See, this is what Instagram does to people. <laughs> oh, f- <laughs> I was in Morocco. Oh, was he driving that van past Eastwood Police? <laughs> I'll start again. Fifteen teens have been treated for rabies <laughs> after they um, gang raped a donkey. Oh dear! They spent a week in the hospital at Moroccan, in a Moroccan hospital, after catching the highly contagious disease from said beast. Now they spent a week in the hospital after the animal transmitted the disease to them. So it's like, I'll oh, fax this into you. F- <laughs> 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 now, let's... Aren't you glad we don't have rabies in Australia? That's right. The actual families of the youngsters are said to be in distress and horror. As you would be. It's also claimed that the actual number infected could be a lot higher, as many families took their sons for treatment at hospitals outside the immediate area to avoid shame. Um, I don't know what is so wrong about, you know, doing the triage at A&E, walk in going, see my son behind me, he's <laughs> the donkey. <laughs> I can't say it was true. I think he's got the rabies. Can you sort that shit out, please? Yeah, is there a shot or something? That you can just shoot into his and get rid of it. 22 round would probably help. <laughs> what about the poor donkey? Does I know. anyone think about the donkey? Yeah, now listen, as we've we've talked about this man who got caught a number of times up in Grafton, you know. Into the horses. Into the horses because the horse winked at him. Now, I just, look, where's the donkey's rights? Like, you know, these guys were just having a hee-haw of a time. <sighs> And uh, what what's going on with the with the donkey? And 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 really, who's who owns a, a rabies um, infected donkey? Well, maybe it was a wild donkey. Well, apparently the donkey's been put down now on what? the order. Yep, that's a bit sad. The police ordered the donkey to be put down, so they capped the donkey. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. It's s- like that scene in Me, Myself, and Irene where he tries to kill a cow. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Moroccan police have got anything to do with that at all. Like, you know, are they sitting around in the Moroccan police station going, look, this donkey talks. Yeah, we're all f- We're all f- So maybe it's in the best interest to maybe say that there was a health hazard. 15 teenagers. Um, there's there's no, um, there's no uh, meat on the bone telling us exactly. <laughs> it's no. <laughs> Listen to this donkey heel. There's nothing describing the actual um, incident. I'm like, kind of happy about that. Yeah, but like you know, normally there's a story that follows. Like you know, they got into the they got into the you know the peach snaps. Well, yeah, or, or some heavy doses of LSD or something. Jumped over a couple of back fences, found Eeyore standing there, all rabies up. Do you reckon he fought back? <laughs> you reckon they were foaming at the mouth for it? And then till someone acted the ass. This is the Burble with Benny and Az. And just to top it off, I think this one is just a little less disgusting than the donkey story that we just spoke about, Az. I have some audio for you. I'm going to play it, okay? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Everyone is wired their own way. I and mean, some people are wired towards blondes, brunettes, big women, skinny women, various ethnicities. I'm wired towards older women. Now... He's Kyle Jones. What, like MILFs? Let's like, you find, know, Stifler's mum? Let's she find, was kind of hot. Let's find out. Babyface Kyle Jones has never dated a woman his own age. Right. Preferring relationships with ladies more than twice as old as him. Oh, dear the Lord. The 31-year-old, who lives in Pittsburgh, oh, no. regularly romances grandmas in their 70s, 80s, and even 90s. When I first met Kyle, quite thrilled. It's very flattering to have the younger guy chasing. May M- McCool. Marjorie. Marjorie, I couldn't even get it out. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. How, how old did they say Kyle was at the beginning of the video? Not old enough. I think he was 33. 33. Marjorie, 91. And no. he was very nice. I, oh. Sometimes I feel like he's another son. Till we hop. Oh, no, 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 till we, no. Till we what? Up in bed. Then I feel different. <laughs> 
But while his unusual taste in women is too extreme for most, Kyle takes a different. <laughs> Look at all my parents or grandparents having sex, or they just don't do that. Yes, they do, and some of them have with me. Dude. From a young age, Dude. Kyle realized the pinups which were exciting his friends weren't catching his eye. The first time I realized I was into older women, I probably was 12 or 13 years old. Shit. <laughs> That's all I could say. Oh, dude. It's funny. The things that no, they're so not conscious about is what I'm into. I like lines. I like uh, the neck feature. You know, he likes the l- boob sagging. I think the natural hang looks great. I'm a fan of platinum hair. I mean, I don't like to say gray. I like to say platinum. I'm <sighs> a fan of platinum hair. Most controversial is Kyle's long-term relationship with 91-year-old great-grandmother Marjorie McCall. Theburble.com.au is where you can find all our podcasts. That's our website. Uh, we're on Spreaker. We're on Apple Podcasts. iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio. Google. Uh, Google. Spotify. CastBox. We're all there. It's coming back next week. Oh, really? No injunction yet. Oh. Um, <clears throat> we will try to make it a little less um, uh, interspecies. Um, <laughs> interspecies. Interspecies, huh? Yeah. yeah. Um, sadly, there will be a lack of dick shit in the world now. Uh, there's... Um, there's a, there's a lot of pain in the world at the moment, as Boris, yeah. Boris Johnson's now the Prime Minister of the UK. So now every leader of every major party in the free world looks like that f- uncle no one wants to talk to at Christmas. We'll be back next week. Is it over yet? The answer is yes. Oh, thank God for that. Hit us up on the socials and check us out at theburble.com.au. And don't forget to subscribe and share us with all your mates. Thank you for sharing. And here's the good news. They're back next week. Yay! Really? That's good news. It's great news. Here's the taste. The physical side of a relationship is wonderful. I amaze myself, he amazes me. (laughs) And I like it. Yeah. Nothing better.